What are we going to get into today? Well, today is distilling day for our Seven Roots Bourbon. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to getting this one done and get some time on it because this is one fantastic bourbon in my book. Really looking forward to this. Uh, so what we're going to do is we'll get set up, get this running, and uh, but first things first. Welcome to Stillworks and Brewing. My name is Randy and this is the channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. All right, this is what it's all about. All right, let me get set up and we'll get we'll get going on this. I know it's already done, but we're going to check it anyway. I'll loosen the lids up so you can see me fight, fight them. So we got our hydrometer. We're going to just drop her in there. Oh, look at that. I mean, it's, if you taste this real sour, and that's what it should be, what am I down to? I'm down to 1.000. Pretty close. Almost. I think the air bubble is messing me up. Yeah, 1.000. So it's, it's done. Alright, so what I want to do, let me get rid of these lids. Alright, what I want to do is I'm going to just siphon this over. I know there's a lot of sediment in it, so uh, if I calculated right, or thought about it right, hopefully I'll uh, have one good still pot. Alright, let me siphon this over, then I'll be back. Uh, While well, I'm siphoning this over, uh, yeah, this fermented for about two weeks. Uh, everything sh should have settled to the bottom, and it sure does look like it anyway. Uh, and the reason I like to siphon is I like to siphon because it gives me a very good, clean um, mash going into my still pot. And because if you have it little chunks, if you have chunks in it, you run the risk of scorching, and we sure don't want to scorch this. So, uh, and like if you watched the, when we made the mash, we separated it into two buckets and we made a little bit more because we knew this was going to have a lot of sediment in it because uh, it's it uh, fermented on top of all them root vegetables. And uh, I feel that's why it gives it a great flavor. So, uh, all right, so we'll be siphoning this over. And then uh, we'll get ready to uh, start warming this uh, still up. Okay, just to let you know where I'm at. I got my still pot full. I got some fire underneath the still pot. Not roaring, but fire under there. What I wanted, and I also got a little bit of electric heat into the element, energy into the element. You know, getting warmed up. I mean, it's only a little about 110 degrees right now. All right, what I want to do is I want to get those, the fluid inside the still to start moving around before we throw a lot of heat to it because if it's moving around, it's less chance of scorching that I've always found. I did put two rolls of copper in my column. Uh, let me back up. I did uh, degas the mash. I feel that that helps with uh, 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 the, the puking of the still. I also put two rolls of copper. I think that adds with helps from puking. Puking is a terrible thing. It makes a mess. So anyway, so everything's heating up. What you're going to do is you're going to keep feeling your column. Uh, that's a good good tool right there. Nothing really is going to start happening until it gets a. Once it gets to about 150 degrees in the still pot, you're going to start seeing a lot of condensation and you might even get a couple of drips of uh, pungent stuff coming out of the still. I do got my water hooked up to the condenser. Ooh, a lot going on, right? It's not as much as you think. Uh, it, it's not bad. It's a lot of hurry up and wait. <laughs> okay, but you don't want to walk away from a, a still heating up for a bunch of different reasons. You don't want it to puke. Uh, the temperature 
it will raise that head temperature up in a heartbeat. It, when it goes up, it will fly up. So, we're just here sitting and waiting. And uh, that's where we're at right now. So when, once we start getting a little bit of uh, production coming off, I'll be back. Okay, I mean, it's still, you can see, let me show you here. You can see a lot of uh, passive uh, condensate or uh, uh, reflux going on here until it uh, it will balance out. Okay, then you see coming off the production. It's a little bit too much for my liking. So what I'll do, I turned the gas heat completely off. Now I'm running on strictly electric, and I've turned it down to try to slow that down just a little bit. I mean I'm down to 6.5 amps going into my heating element uh, it, it takes a couple minutes to correct itself I think I need to turn up my cooling water up because I got a little puff of uh, vapors coming out there it's a little bit warm and it still smells pretty pungent so let me turn my uh, cooling water up a little bit to cool this down and it's getting pretty cold though alright so let me get these heads collected off then uh, We'll get ready to start collecting. Okay, you see, I collected all 300 mils of four shots and heads. And my head temperature, it went right up to about 185, and then it stops and hangs out there. So I changed over to the collection jars. Uh, and I'm gonna, what I'm going to do just for the S and G's of it is I want to check the AB coming off ABV coming off my spout every hundred mils just to see just to see what that number does. You don't want to. Okay, so we're gonna be here for a while. I mean, tastes good, real nice and clean. It does have a little earthy taste to it. That's what I'm after. Okay, so we're going to be here for a while. I'll check back. Okay. I'm not quite sure what went wrong. Uh, it started off. I double checked um, my SG of the Seven Roots Bourbon was 1.65. 1.065. Which is not too bad. Um, I checked my mash today after two weeks and it was down to 1.000. Alright, and so I decided to go ahead and distill it. And then that's where everything is a little bit confusing. Um, normally, when I start my still, and I'm bringing the temperature up, usually around 175 in the pot, I'll start getting a few drips off, and then, uh, uh, I'll feel it come, and it will come right on up, and, uh, We'll start distilling, and normally, when it, when it's coming off, when you know I collect my hearts or my uh, uh, four shots and heads, and then I start converting into hearts. You know, it usually is. It is right around 140, 150 proof, and then we'll work our way on down. This time, uh, I kept having to turn the heat up to get to, to produce, and then once it still started producing, it was only coming off at like 120, which, okay, normally it's, it's, normally it's uh, a lot higher than that, but anyway, I kept running, 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 and I kept watching my ABV coming off the spout. And it ended up getting to uh, 
40 ABV where I normally stop that's 80 proof I normally stop there um, so I went ahead and kept going and I went to 135 proof I got that right no I'm wrong so it got down to 35 percent I'm sorry I'm, I'm we're talking two things same thing but two different things so it got down to 35 percent and I quit because normally then you're starting to get into my tails for some reason and I'm not sure what happened and I only ended up with three quarts almost three quarts a little bit shy of three quarts of 100 proof uh, normally I get a lot more than that I ain't quite sure what the only thing I can think of is when I did the mash did I get a false reading or something of what the original or the starting gravity was that's the only thing I can figure out this tastes fine it tastes great it's just I didn't get the volume that I, I normally would get so I will have to say that the day that I did the seven roots mash it was extremely hot I don't know if that did something or not uh, maybe it was me maybe it was just I don't know what it did but the only thing that I can think of is I got a false reading on the original gravity that's the only thing I can think of but hey I got three quarts of good liquor I'll put it on wood and I think it will be you know fantastic bourbon uh, I will try this again um, so what can I say sometimes things mess up you know what I mean uh, my feelings are hurt a little bit but it is what it is but uh, all right so that's what happened I'll get a little bit of liquor out of it and it's gonna taste fantastic uh, but I do have a, what I'm gonna give you a sneak preview I am building me a new heated bash ton. Uh, I think it's going to be fantastic. Uh, what I think it will help with is to maintain temperatures. You know, I think it is an extreme big key of, of getting the most I can get out of my corn and my other grains. So I'm looking forward to this and looking forward to doing some testing on that and see how it works out. You all, you all will find out. Okay, so I guess the last thing I got to say is, hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on Still Works and Brewing. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Alrighty.